look, it's real. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the Cassie Project. So today I am revealing all. I have been wanting to let you guys know this big idea that I've been working on in the background for ages. This is my very first art prompt book and it's so freaking exciting. I had this idea last Christmas and I was like, oh, I've made it real. It's real, look, it's real. <laughs> As you probably know, it's got a bit of a Christmassy theme. I've been sprucing up my desk, making it all Christmassy. A little bit early, maybe, but who cares? The idea behind this book is that it is an advent to Christmas. So usually you would get your, your chocolate and you'd open up your little windows and have a piece of chocolate each day. I want to give you something a little bit different. And I wanted to give you some art prompts that you could do each day as the run up to Christmas. So this book includes 25 creative Christmas inspired prompts that you can follow throughout December on the countdown to Christmas. That is basically what this book is all about. So we've got 25 prompts in here and you could take it at whatever pace you would want, whether you want to do one each day on the run up to Christmas or just spread it out over the Christmas period or spread it out over a year, whatever you choose to do with it. So what I've wrote on the first page of this book is how many unfinished sketchbooks do you have sat on the shelf? Do you get inspired and then don't know where to start? Well, come on this adventure with me and let's finish a sketchbook together this Christmas. Instead of chocolate, let's count down to Christmas by creating art. What could be more satisfying? The reason I say that is because I'm, I'm like many other people, I've got many sketchbooks sat on my shelf and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, so sometimes I find art prompt books so much easier because it's there, it tells you what to do on each page, but you can still get very creative and do what you want on there. But it just gives you that bit of a, a head start. It, it pushes you to do it, which is really nice. And the fact that it's an advent might get you working through it a little bit quicker as well. So I don't wanna show you all the prompts, but I'm gonna do three prompts today in the book. I'm not gonna show you all the prompts in the book because I don't wanna give too many spoilers. So the first prompt that I've chosen for this one is decorate the cake. Add the frosting to this cupcake, give it sprinkles, flavor, color. I've created the, the base of the cake for you and you can do whatever you want to the top of it. Now I was inspired by my darling little William. He was sat, snuggled, looking cute and I wanted to draw William on a bed of frosting. I thought that would be adorable. A big blanket of frosting that he's sat on because you guys know that I love to put a little character in my food. <laughs> so, so weird. Let me know what you would have picked. It's, what I love about art prompt books is that everyone's book looks completely different. So my book will look completely different to yours. Let me know in the comments what you probably would have done. Would you have just gone for some frosting and just made it look pretty? What flavor frosting would you have picked? Would you have put a character in there, a little animal or whatever? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear. I decided to use my Artex pens because you don't get any bleed through with acrylic markers, which I absolutely love. So I thought that I would blend some pinks together to make this frosting. And that's something that I love about acrylic markers. You can use the colors over and over and blend them into each other. And it gave this lovely soft looking frosting color. I have also asked a bunch of my friends who are also YouTubers uh, to have a look at my book and any of their videos that they create, I'm gonna put in a playlist. So I will tag that playlist underneath just so you guys can see other ideas of other YouTubers and what they create in this book. Keep an eye out for that. A lot of those videos will be coming throughout the month of October. I then decided to use beige for the cake part and I added some light lines through that and then blended that together to just give a little bit of depth into that cupcake case. My lovely art advent book is now available for pre-order. So you can go over to my website, thecassieprojects.co.uk and you can pre-order it there. I will also include an exclusive sticker with any of the pre-orders and I'll show you that in just a little bit. The book will be available on the 1st of November. If you order from my website, I might send them out 
a little bit early but they will also be available on Amazon from the 1st of November. So my daughter gave me a tip the other day, she says um, a lot of Sanrio characters and, and kawaii style characters they use a, a lighter outline instead of a black outline they use like a brown or a colour that's to do with the, the character that they've drawn. So I thought I'd try that out and I did a brown outline on my little pop cake and I think that it looked really nice so thanks Bella that really helped. I added some lovely little sprinkles. I decided to go for pastel colours because I thought that that would suit the style of this drawing a little bit more. So I added a white, a light pink, a light yellow. So there you go. This is my finished little pop cake. I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. And oh my gosh, I really enjoyed doing my own art prompt book. <laughs> It's so exciting. It's really nice actually doing the book as well, something that I've been thinking about for ages and ages. It's just really nice to finally have it in real life, you know, in physical form. So next up, this is where I'm going to be designing my exclusive sticker that you will get if you pre-order this book on my website. So this prompt is put something in this jar. What would you like to put in this jar? Something sweet and delicious? You could make it into a terrarium, a fairyland, or even turn it upside down and make it into a snow globe. And when I put that into my brain, when I wrote this, I was like, oh, I've got to turn this upside down. I think that's brilliant and I'm going to turn it upside down I'm going to turn it into a snow globe but I'm also going to make it into like a bit of a fairyland as well the idea that I had was to have this this castle and it's all very wintry we're going to have snow in there because obviously it's a snow globe and so I just did a basic sketch I tried to find a reference of some fairy tail castle which was quite difficult to do I found the building part quite difficult and then I decided to add mushrooms because I thought that that gave it more of a fairyland feel I wanted to use watercolour for this prompt to show you that you can use lots of art supplies. Obviously it is a thinner paper, it's not a watercolour paper in this book because they are printed via Amazon. So it's very similar to Creators Book 1 and Creators Book 2 because they're also printed from Amazon as well. But I just went straight in with my watercolour, I made sure I put some card behind it so I wouldn't get any bleed through onto the other page. Yeah, it works really really well, you've just got to not add too much water basically. I went in with a purple background and then I added nice green hills in there but I'm going to add some snow later on. I decided to make the mushrooms that typical red colour and I thought I would do a brown castle in the background. It was looking a little bit ugly at this stage so I decided I wanted to go in with my fine liner because it just helps me get past that ugly stage a little bit quicker and then I went in with the shading so because that was nice and dry it just layers on a little bit better so I just added some darker tones in there. I then went in with some white acrylic wash and I used this to add all the snow and the highlights to this jar. I decided to darken up the edge with a little bit more watercolour and that just makes it look a bit more like a jar instead of just a flat piece of paper. I gave it a gold lid at the bottom, I thought that would look really nice and I added some gold stars as if they are the fairies just dotted into the snow globe because I didn't fancy drawing fairies, I don't really enjoy drawing full figures, I find that really hard so I thought I'd just give them little glimpses of light instead. So yes, this is the exclusive sticker that will come along with your book when you pre-order. I think it's gorgeous, I absolutely love it, it's one of my favourite sticker designs. Finally, I'm going to do one more prompt and this one is roll the dice. So this one's a little bit exciting. Okay, we're going to let the dice decide on the colours, the style and then the character or object. I got out my, my dice, um, we've got a few little bags of dice because we play D&D. &D. Let me know in the comments below if you play D&D &D or any other 
role-playing games. <laughs> so I opened the bag and <laughs> you can tell I'm a parent, I found some toys in there. So I grabbed my D&D bag and yes, my dice are in there, thankfully, and not been replaced with toys. It's a little worrying, where are the other dice? I do not know. I'll uh, tell the children off later. <laughs> Roll the dice. And the first one I got was number two, which is cold colours. The next one, however, I rolled number one, which was creepy. Okay, maybe we're doing Halloween a little bit early. Maybe we'll go for that. Then I rolled number five, which was a drink. So I've got to do a cold, creepy drink. Hmm. <laughs> So I, I thought I would create a cat. I gave it a big wide smile to make it really nice and creepy. I thought I'd draw this, this dumpy fat little cat. And what I want to do is I want to turn this cat into a drink. So I am going to fill his belly with boba tea. <laughs> I don't know where these ideas come from, but it just kind of happened. So um, yeah, he's got some... Um, boba tea in his belly and I thought I'd put the straw coming out of his mouth and I gave it some big gangly tea. I think we've definitely ticked the box of creepy and I'm pretty sure we've ticked the box of uh, drink. You know, it, it is a drink at the end of the day. Now we need to do the cold colour. So I've got out my Artex pens again and I'm going to use black, grey and a grey blue blending down into a white for the sky. I thought that would be nice and cold and creepy. And I'm using lots of lines to blend that together instead of actually blending it with my acrylic markers. So I decided to give it a clear belly um, so you could see the background behind it but I do actually change that um, a little bit later. And then I'm just going in with all those details, adding the blackness uh, behind the tea, colouring in the boba. I'm still picking lots of cold colours for the drink as well. I've been planning this book, like I said, for over a year. So last Christmas I had this idea of creating an advent style prompt book. And then summer hit and I was really struggling to do videos, but I still wanted to do art. So I started coming up with um, the cover design um, to the book and putting all the prompts together. So I've been working on it um, solidly over the last like two, three months and I'm really, really happy with it. I've uh, sent this book out to lots of other artists and yeah, it'll be really nice to see what they think of the book and get lots of feedback over the next couple of months. And I've also got a couple of awesome guys that are going to uh, write a little review on the back of the book as well so that will be on the finished book on the 1st of November which is super exciting. So there you go, that's my finished prompt. I really liked it, it's completely different to what I would ever draw and that's what I want from this art prompt book. I want it to push me to do things that I'm not used to as well. I really hope that this art prompt book is for you guys and you enjoy it as much as I do. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, do head on over to my website. You can pre-order this book now and you will also get that exclusive sticker. Head over to the cassieprojects.co.uk. Uh, just wanted to let you know, if you do order more things to go with this book, I will send it all out in one package. I won't be able to send those items out and then the book out because obviously that doubles up my postage. Do share this video with as many people as you can but thank you so much for watching. Do carry on watching some more videos over here. And don't forget, I will pop the playlist down below with all the other artists that are doing this book um, so you can see more of the prompts in action before the release date on the 1st of November. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support. I'll see you soon. Bye.